The sustainability drive for me came from working in restaurants that weren't sustainable. I think it's seeing it over and over again, how much waste and how much stuff was just imported with no thought or anything behind it. And I just kind of became fed up with it. I'm Rob Ruba. We're at Oyster Oyster in Washington, DC. When opening Oyster Oyster, we hope to accomplish giving perspective of what a sustainable dining experience could be. Not only sustainability of what the ingredients we use, but who's actually growing the food and, and what their lifestyle is like. Is that sustainable? It's also about resourcing as regenerative agriculture and kind of looking at dining from all perspectives. The future dining to us is kind of creating luxury out of just the experience itself and being connected with nature as well as your community. It's really thinking about ways communities were hundreds, 200 years ago and bringing that back in kind of a modern setting. Our approach with sustainability at Oyster Oyster is this ongoing thing. When we started, we wanted to eliminate things that we knew were problematic, no single-use plastics. And then we focus on being local. Our other practices are we use mostly all electric equipment, induction and low water use. And then with the design of the restaurant included, a lot of reclaimed woods, cork. We work with a lot of oyster conservation at the restaurant. Oysters that we use here then go back into the ocean to create oyster reefs, which are like this beautiful symbiotic environment for you know different species. Another part of sustainability for us is in extending the seasons as much as possible. Many of those processes are drying, fermenting, pickling. For here, we have some honey that we fermented with some spruce from late fall, chanterelle, porcini mushrooms, dried chilies so that we still have spice in the winter months when we no longer can get fresh peppers. What's happening here are pink oyster mushrooms. They'll be harvested today. You could get around four or five pounds every three to four days. We put this piece in the restaurant, kind of like educate our, our staff and our guests about like, how do mushrooms grow? What are the different varieties? And kind of have a fun little experimental corner in the restaurant. Cooking local here in the Mid-Atlantic and what that means to us is working primarily with excellent produce because we can only use what's growing. The importance of seasonality here is it's everything we do. So we're really telling the story of these producers here in the Mid-Atlantic regions and weaving in and out of our processes of sustainability. So I think what a guest would find in their whole meal is our community on a plate. And I think this is where we kind of start telling that story of what we do really well at the restaurant. Well, we just got this asparagus in, some of the first asparagus of the season, and we're gonna break this down. Fresh is always best with asparagus. This isn't shipped cross country and two weeks old. It's still juicy. Like you can see we're like removing the skin here. It's glistening. It's just packed with a lot of flavor still. Uh, we've taken the bottom end of this that is extremely woody and kind of hard to eat, and that gets braised down for about three to four hours and then blended up into this sauce of seeds. So no waste there. Beautiful top spears that are gonna get pan roasted in these amazing made-in pans. Then we have our Lion's Mane mushroom here. This has been roasted and pressed. Uh, the flavor of it's kind of interesting. It has this oceanic salinity to it, but it has this really subtle acidity to it, which is really nice when you break it down with like fats and get a dark roast onto it. We have this really cool vegetable reduction. Pretty much all the trim from everything that a guest has eaten throughout the meal. It's kind of similar to like a vegetable demi-glace. And that's gonna give it this crazy like umami richness. Let's plate this up. First, we're gonna put down our sauce that we made. Then we have our lion's mane mushroom here. Then we have asparagus top spears are lightly roasted on that. Our ramp salsa verdes, a little bit of shallot, some beautiful local vinegar. And then this time of year, we have all these beautiful brassica flowers popping up from the winter's kale. There you have it. That's our roasted lion's mane using our maiden stainless clad. At home, if you want to dive into sustainability a little bit more, shop at your local farmer's market, eliminate packaging. Packaging is such a wasteful thing. Find uh, a composting program, whether you're dropping that off at a farmer's market or your community already has a pickup like mine does. Turn what you think is trash into beautiful soil, I think is one of the best things you can do. I'm Chef Rob Ruba, and I use maiden cookware.